Now let's look at pie chart. So what is a pie chart? In a pie chart, a circle is divided into sectors whose angles are proportional to the frequencies of the item. So in terms of a pie chart now, what we have is this pictorial diagram in which we have a cycle and the sectors in them represent the frequency of the item. So how do we calculate the degree of each of the sectors in the item? It's very simple. We just find the ratio of the item frequency over the total frequency they will multiply by 360 since the sum of angle in a cycle is 360 degree. So let's take a look at this pie chart for example. This pie chart shows the browser usage for April 2012. So now as we can see, we can see different types of internet browsers. So we have Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari and Opera. So we can see that if we want to see the total number of people that make use of Firefox, so we can see it is represented by this yellow region over here. So the angle over here will be measured in degree. And we are told that in this case, it is what 35.8% of people make use of Firefox. So we can say the same thing about other type of browser. For Chrome, we have 38.3% and so on. So you should take note that the angles are in degrees, but we can also share them in terms of percentage. This next example is going to illustrate that point. So yeah, we're told that in a secondary school in Syria alone, a census taken regarding the various ethnic groups gives the following results. So you have ethnicity and the total number of people. So yeah, you have people that are from Kuli, and please forgive my pronunciation. So 200 people, have ethnicity of Creole, then for Fula you have 50, Limba 90, Mende 100, Susu you have 60, Temne you have 80, and others you have 140. So how do we represent this in a pie chart? So the way we go about this is by first trying to prepare a table as you can see here. So we try to calculate the angle of each of the sector. So if you remember our formula, we said the degree for each item is equal to what? The item frequency over the total frequency then times 360 degree. So in this case, what is the sum of the total frequency? You can see that when we add all this together, we get 720. So the angle for Creole is going to be what? The item frequency is what? 200 over the total frequency is 720 then times 360 and what does that give us that gives us 100 degree so we can apply that to the rest so we have 50 over 720 times 360 and that gives us 25 degrees here you have 45 over 720 times 360 and that gives us 45 degrees so you have 90 over here then here you have 100 over 720 times 360 to give us 50 degrees and when you solve for the rest you get angles of 30 degrees 40 degrees and 70 degrees and when you sum up all these degrees together if you solve this correctly you should get a total of 360 degrees so now if you look at this pie chart this represents exactly what you have yeah, so now let's start with Crowley. We can see that Crowley is this blue region over here. So we told that the angle is 100 degrees. So what it means is that this angle over here is what 100 degrees. Now for Fuller, this angle over here is what 25 degrees. Then here you have what 45 degrees and so on and so forth. But as you can see, the information here is given in terms of percentage. So how do we convert from our angle in degrees to percentage? So the same idea and it's very simple. So what you have to just do is dividing the item frequency by the total frequency. But instead of multiplying by 360, we multiply now by 100 because percentage means we are dividing into 100. So here we just have what? 200 over 720 times 100. And that gives us what? 
that gives us 28 percent so if you saw for the next one we have 50 over 720 times 100 and that gives us 7 percent and if i apply the principle for the rest you have 13 percent 14 percent 8 percent 11 percent and 90 percent and when you sum up all these percentages together you should get 100 percent so this is the pie chart that represents the distribution of ethnicity in that particular secondary school in severe load so as you can see the angle here represents the fraction that belongs to Kyola and as you can see you can either represent the section in terms of degree or in terms of percentages so you should be careful to know the formula which the question is given so you can be able to tackle it appropriately so let's look at another example and here we are told that the pie chart above shows the statistical distribution of 288 students in an examination calculate how many students offer mathematics so here we are given the angle of each of the sector i are told to find the number of students that offers mathematics so the first thing we need to do here is to try to find the value of x so we can calculate the angle of this sector of mathematics so we know that the sum of all these individual sectors over here must be equals to 360 degree because that is the sum of the angle of a circle so i will start out from this math and move clockwise so i have 5x then plus for my economics i have 16x minus 24 then plus 5x which is my physics plus 4x plus 12 which is for my chemistry the plus 6x plus 12 must be equal to 360 degrees so if i collect like times 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 16 gives me 36x y minus 12 plus 12 plus 12 gives me zero must be equal to 360 degrees so x will be equal to 360 divided by 36 which is equal to 10. So the degree of my math will be equal to what 5 times 10 and that is equal to 50 degrees. So the number of students that take mathematics will just be equal to the degree for the mathematics which is what 50 over the total degree which is what 360 then times the total number of students which is what 288 and when you compute this you get what you get 40 so the total number of students that offer mathematics is 40 and the correct option is option d so this pretty much sums up our discussion of pie chart and i should mention that questions can come in any form and in any way so the best way to master your skill is to practice lots of questions so you can master your skill and become perfect with solving questions that are related to pie charts